all three of the above. That's not how the game works. You got to pick one. I make rules to break them. Okay. So. Okay, but I made these rules. Like, <laughs> you called into my show. Like, <laughs> What's going on? It's Trey, back for another questionnaire life from my apartment. And today we have multi-talented artist Young Baby Tate with us. How's it going? Yeah. Woo. How's quarantine been treating you and shit? I've been playing a lot of Sims, um, <laughs> taking a lot of naps, smoking a lot of weed. That's a pretty good plan. Yeah. I think, you know, everyone should try to do that. All right. Well... <laughs> You ready to get into this? Yeah. Which of these shows would be the worst getting invited to with absolutely no context? Maury, Jerry Springer, or Judge Judy? Ooh. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna say Judge Judy. Because for me, if somebody was inviting me to Maury, I don't have the ability to get anyone pregnant. So I know it's no paternity test on me. But then Judge Judy, I don't know, like anybody can have any reason to want to sue you. And like, I'm calling Judge Judy right now because you snatched my wig at your show. So I would like to be paid back for my wig and my time and my emotional issues that you caused. And then boom, now I have to go to Judge Judy and be embarrassed. In terms of catching your partner doing something online, which is worse? Posting thirst traps, spreading conspiracy theories, or being horny in strangers' DMs? Being horny in strangers' DMs, period. Thirst traps, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you post a picture with your shirt off on the timeline. Cool, that's whatever. You, you look good. You looked good before you met me. You're gonna look good after whatever. Do you. Conspiracy theories, think what you wanna think, babe. And we can talk it through and I, maybe I can make you delete the posts. But you're messaging someone privately, like on some sneaky shit, like in the DMs, that's uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Can't uh -uh. come back from that one. I think conspiracy theories would actually terrify me more. Yeah, it's like, okay, how, what lengths will you go? But it's like, there are a lot of things that are true that people don't want us to believe are true and they label them conspiracy theories to just put that word in your your mind to make you think that like thinking this is crazy but actually thinking that is thinking the truth about this world yeah you believe in any i believe that aliens are real i don't think that they look the way that they draw them out to be I actually think white people might be aliens or black people might be aliens. I don't know which one it is, but one of them is not supposed to be on this earth. I kind of think it's white people because why do you burn in the sun? That's what's here for us. That's a fair question. Yeah. Like, I don't burn. That, that shit, that's my shit. Like, yeah, we here. What's up? Melanin. Hey. Okay, I'm going to be thinking about that one. <laughs> I put no research into that, by the way. So take that as you wish. Uh, what's been the hardest part of trying to work during self-isolation? Finding inspiration, finding the energy, or finding the and like the will to just care about anything? I'll say inspiration. Okay. I think that the inspiration kind of drives the energy and the will. If I have like an idea, like, oh, I, I just had this crazy idea for a song. Like I have the energy to want to do it and the will to go and either make the beat or find the right beat. But if the inspiration is not there, then it's just like, what do I do? Last few months that have been crazy, um, especially for black people. It's just the world is not inspiring right now for me. But I'm kind of finding that again. Some of the creative and inventive ways that we have navigated around this are things that we probably should be looking at just for the future anyway. Like I could not be wearing pants right now. You wouldn't even know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I'm not in mind, so like, yeah. All right, well, thank you for stopping by and coming and doing this. This was a good time. Everybody else, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, young baby Tay. Have a good one. Bye.
yo, you've come in here like within the first five minutes, like slandering seltzer water and chili cheese fries, and like I don't know how we're gonna get through this. I can't. I, I don't know how people do these things. They may seem regular to the world, but to me, gross.